Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call Wise Man Lawyers. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call Wise Man Lawyers. Don't face that court alone. Let the wise man team get you back on the road. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call the wise man. Right, so I'm at Richland's Magistrates Court. Client was charged with repeat disqualified driving, meaning court ordered disqualified driving. So uh, when someone goes to court for you know drink driving or, or whatever, and the court disqualifies them, uh, and you get caught during that uh, court order disqualification, the penalties are quite severe. For a first offence, it's a minimum two year disqualification. There's no uh, maximum. The magistrate's got a discretion to uh, give a lifetime disqualification if they see fit. Um, but this client was a habitual offender. He's from New South Wales, and all of his previous was in New South Wales. Uh, it was more than 10. I lost count uh, on how many previous he had, but it was over 10. He had multiple different penalties, including actual jail in New South Wales. Uh, and if you've already been in jail before for disqualified driving, they generally don't go backwards. They normally go forward, so more jail, longer period, etc. Uh, so obviously the stakes are extremely high. Uh, and I did, I, I literally made it clear to the client, both verbally and in writing, that there was really only a 25% chance of keeping him out, meaning there was a 75% chance that he was going to go in and serve actual custody today. Uh, last time, well, he's had, you know, four months actual custody in the past, so um, we were talking, you know, if he was going to go in, we were talking six months plus, unless I was able to uh, work my magic, for want of a better word. Um, that said, uh, in order to pull out all stops, there was a number of steps that both I and I got the myself that I took and that I got the client to take. Uh, I got him to do the course that we get everyone to do, got him to get references. I sent him off to his uh, GP and psychologist. He's got underlying mental health issues uh, to, you know, come up with some kind of uh, report or document sort of trying to address the underlying uh, behaviour that leads to this offending. Um, got him to get references, as, as I said. Uh, based on the template we give all of our clients. Um, in addition to that, I uh, did up written submissions of case law. There's not a lot of case law out there that helps a client such as mine. You know, people, you know, every day of the week go to, not my clients, but you see people, you know, either self-represented or with lawyers that don't specialise in traffic law, go into jail for their third disqualified, third or fourth, bang, in you go, see you in four months. Uh, and when you hit 10, uh, 11, 12, so on, uh, and you've done jail before, it's a case of, you know, how much jail this time, whether as opposed to whether or not you actually go in. That said, the last offence was in 2014. While that's not a, a massive amount of time ago, it was uh, four, almost five years ago. So there's been some kind of window of pulling his head in. Uh, further to that, you know, the person he was four years ago was just a, a, uh, a young fool, single, nothing to live for, you know, no responsibilities, nothing, you know, to lose if he was to go back into, into jail. Whereas in the time since then, he's found love, married his wife, they've got a nine month old uh, child. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, last time he was just a, a, a fool with nothing to lose. This time he's a uh, responsible uh, parent with everything to lose. So, you know, my job was to try and get the disqualification down as low as possible and uh, avoid imprisonment, but at the end of the day, the disqualification was the uh, least of his concerns. It was all about, at the first instance, trying to avoid imprisonment, and then if imprisonment was absolutely going to happen, uh, then it was about um, trying to get the length of imprisonment down as low as possible. Look, uh, it was hard work. I'm not going to pretend it wasn't, but I'm not going to uh, speak in this uh, recording longer than I need to. Uh, the long and short of it is, I was successful in persuading the magistrate not to send my client back to jail. So he received a another two-year disqualification and a fine. Uh, he got to go home, so he and his family are now heading back to the airport. Uh, the three of them, rather than just mum and baby. Um, yeah, hard work. I'm a bit uh, worn out because obviously these high-risk of jail matters uh, take uh, quite a bit of effort. Um, so I'll leave it at that. So another very, very, very extremely relieved client. 
I'm Andrew Wiseman at Richlands Magistrates Court. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Andrew Wiseman from Wiseman Lawyers, Queensland's only truly dedicated drug, alcohol and traffic events law firm. If you face loss of licence, loss of vehicle imprisonment or anything in between at any court in Queensland, we can and will help you today. This is our specialty. This is all we do. Give us a call, 1300 947 352. I look forward to helping you resolve your issue today. Don't face that court alone. Let the wise man team get you back on the road.